Jace Tunnel here. Hey, we got some real cool stuff washing in today. And uh, you might have seen these if you've been out at the beach lately, but there's literally millions and millions of these Valella Valella for you uh, scientists out there. Now, normally people call them by the wind sailors. And so they're a hydrozoa. They've got uh, what it sounds like a little sail that's up at the top right here that's a clear little tab. And that's how they move around in the ocean, you know, by the currents and then by the wind. And uh, then they're, they're on like this platform of blue uh, that floats. And then they have tentacles that's below it. And so, you know, you, you might be thinking, oh, tentacles, you're gonna get stung or something. Well, they actually do have stinging cells, but, you know, they eat plankton. And so the stinging cells actually grab onto the plankton and that's what they feed on. But, you know, it's not strong enough to hurt us. Now, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't uh, take this off my finger and then rub my eyes uh, or put it in my mouth or something like that. Because, you know, if, you're, if you have sensitive skin, it, you know, it could, could uh, affect you there. But um, these are real neat if you see them floating around. Now, there's a couple of things you will find with these. Um, normally, there's Portuguese man wars that are also around these. Uh, there's also a purple storm snail, which feeds on these and the uh, Portuguese man of war. And then if you're lucky enough, you'll actually find the blue dragon that also feeds on all those, uh, especially the Portuguese man of war. But uh, this is a neat one. It, they're found worldwide. So you'll see every once in a while, a new story will come out saying that uh, there's all these blue things washing up in mass quantities. Now, the reason we're having these wash up right now is because we started having southeast winds. These are supposed to be out in the open ocean. So, you know, they're not made to be up on land. And uh, they, whenever we get the right conditions and they're blooming in the springtime, uh, these will wash up on our beach here. And so that's why we're seeing them right now. Now, most of them we're seeing are very, very tiny. And uh, like, I, I'll pick one up right here. Most of them are about that size. Now they can get, uh, you know, a couple inches. This was probably an inch or so. Uh, so they're all still pretty small, but they can get, they can get a uh, pretty good size. Um, but, and they grow uh, fairly quickly. So, you know, maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll start seeing some larger ones come up. But I figured uh, y'all might be interested in seeing these and wondering what they are, why there's so many washing up uh, by the wind sailor. So now you know. We'll talk to you later. Bye.